Hello everybody, Josh12 back here again with another video, and I'm here to give you my official review for Dragon Ball Super Episode 28. Now, of course, if you haven't seen this episode, please go check it out because this review may contain spoilers. But that being said, let's get into the newest episode of Dragon Ball Super. And if I can be the first person to tell you all, basically, if you're a Dragon Ball fan and you out there gave up on Dragon Ball Super from day one or felt that... Because they recapped the movies, it felt like a irrelevant series to watch. Essentially, this is the freaking episode to come back to watch. And yes, we finally have original content. We're past Battle of Gods. We're past Resurrection F. We're past all that bullshit. We're finally into original content. And I'm super stoked and happy about it. Of course, we're finally in the Universe 6 Saga arc. And personally, going into this arc, I was a little, you know, I had mixed expectations. I was very, let's put it out there, I was very scared about it because we knew what Toy Animation had done with the prior sagas. We saw what they did with Bout of Gods. We saw what they did with Resurrection F. And they kind of, to a certain extent, even though they did a lot of good, there was a lot of bad. I know there's a lot of defenders out there who like to defend Super for a lot of reasons, but let's put it out there, you know, there's a lot of problems with Dragon Ball Super. Even if it's, you know, really good, there is a lot of bad to it. But Universe 6, particularly this episode, was freaking awesome. I personally loved it. I thought it was a very well done episode. It was very fun, entertaining, Champa killed me he was freaking awesome of course he was hilariously hysterical um of course he it pretty much like and that's also another weird thing how it kind of like is a very good comparison to the manga of course the manga plays it out a little bit differently there's a little there's definitely some subtle changes from the manga to the anime but basically it's essentially like a shot for shot of what the manga is all about and I personally think they did a pretty good job. I mean, granted, we can sit here all day discussing, you know, what is good, what is bad, you know, how terrible is the animation and artwork. And all I can say about that is that because I'm kind of sick and tired of talking about the animation for Dragon Ball Super, but all I can really say is that at least it didn't look like, at least this particular episode did not look like it was animated and drawn by a freaking fourth grader. You know, that's all I can really say. At least it didn't look like that. I mean, like, because that was a main fear I had as well. I mean, like, once again, we seen what Toy Animation had done with prior episodes and prior sagas. This was the episode that they had to get right because it was the first original episode of Super. It was basically, to episode 28 is the episode Dragon Ball Super should have started with. And... As a whole, I think they did a pretty decent job. Now, of course, um, getting into the actual episode, essentially Goku and Vegeta are back on Beerus' planet training under Whis, and of course getting tortured by Beerus, which is hilarious, and of course we get to see them train in those fat suits or those waiting clothes or what have you, which is also hilarious. I think the best thing about those damn suits is how Goku and Vegeta are completely incapable of running in them so like every single time Beerus is just fucking with them they can hardly run away because there's it's so incredibly heavy and I just I don't know I'm just saying the co the comedy in this episode was on par it was really good but of course Choppa and Vados who we have seen in previous episodes on Dragon Ball Super and of course uh, are a major part of this specific saga have come to Beerus's planet to visit, to talk to Beerus and all that kind of stuff. And of course, hell ensues, comedy ensues, whole bunch of hijinks ensues. There's a lot of blasting, there's a lot of explosions, there's a lot of yelling between Beerus and Champa and all that kind of stuff. And I think another real cool aspect about the episode was how they use and incorporate Champa into the Dragon Ball universe. Because in the manga, Champa's kind of played out as menacing and he's a little evil. To a certain extent, and he's kind of, in the manga, he's kind of like a bad guy. But on the show, he's kind of played out like your average Akira Toriyama character, where he's just, he's he's comedic to a whole nother level. Like, he's very, and also he has a, he has, at least in my personal subjective opinion, he has kind of like a sympathetic point of view to himself, where every single time you see him, 
He's kind of goofy, and he feels like second fiddle to Beerus, who is obviously the head honcho. I feel like Beerus... I mean, like, granted, we haven't seen the rest of the universes of Dragon Ball Super, but does anybody kind of get the feeling, like, after seeing Beerus and Champa interaction in this episode, doesn't anybody feel like Beerus is, like, the head honcho of every universe? I'm just saying, Beerus... He's like the boss of everyone. I mean, like, he doesn't give a shit. He's completely overpowered, and no one can really topple his energy. It's pretty crazy, but, I mean, like, I'm just saying, I'm waiting for that Goku Beerus rematch. I want that shit to happen. I want Goku to freaking prove himself amongst gods. That's that's an episode I'm definitely looking forward to. Hopefully they do that when they're done with this saga or by the time it ends. But overall, of course... It pretty much plays out like the manga, which I'm actually surprised that they did so early. But overall, uh, essentially, Beerus and Champa go amongst, you know, training foods. Of course, explaining, like, the food that Champa brought, which was hilarious how Goku was reacting to those alien eggs, which is awesome. And, of course, you know, Champa gets to taste, you know, your common noodles and whatever, the cup of noodles, if you will, which is also hilarious the way you know, him and Vados react to that, and of course, they go with the back and forth about Earth food, and what Earth is, and what's Earth doing, and that other part, and of course, Whis comes out and discusses to Vegeta and Goku the differences between both universes, and the fact that there's 12 alternate universes, and the, the multiverse, and all that kind of stuff that's explained in the manga, which is also pretty cool, and also, animation-wise, at least for that specific scene, was done very well. I like the way they presented it, and which is a great plus. And of course, it continues on with Choppa discussing this battle, this tournament, this essential trade-off of planets, and because of how great Earth's food is. Essentially, if you've seen the manga, it's basically a shot for shot of what the manga pretty much presented to us. So, and of course, if you've seen various, you know, every single chapter up until now, then you essentially know what's going to happen, but essentially, we're finally at the point where the anime is actually kind of close and pretty much at the same point than the manga, which is very interesting to me, because I, I f went, before getting into this episode, I was really thinking that Toy Animation was going to create some filler episodes, but they just went right into you know, the the Universe 6 arc, which I thought was very interesting, because, you know, if they are this close to where the manga is, then what's going to happen when they pass that point? Like, are they going to start creating original episodes that are not, you know, created in the manga, or are they going to start making some filler episodes in between? Like, that's the big thing that I'm wondering right now. Uh, so, I want to know anybody else's input, because that's the big thing that's worrying me, because if the anime goes off chapter from where the manga is, like, are they going to stop having influences with one another, or are they just, I mean, like, granted, I know Torotaro's manga is essentially its own thing to a certain extent, and it's basically like a template, or like an outline of what the anime is supposed to be like, but, um... They've had significant changes with one another, and they definitely have been off chapter, if you will. But once it reaches where the manga is and passes it, that's going to be a very interesting point for the anime and the manga to see which one's going to be relevant and which one's going to be completely different. So there's some interesting stuff going on with Super, but all I can say is thank God we're finally at a point with this freaking series and this freaking franchise when we're finally getting original content this is the episode i've been waiting for since day one this is the episode that everyone should have been waiting for and of course all i can say is i liked it i really enjoyed it i mean granted there were some negatives in there of course there should have been some more action of course it would have been nice to get like a flashback of beerus and champa fighting each other like it was in the manga which was which would have been an amazing battle but of course I'm pretty sure if Toy Animation did animate that they would have botched it because let's let's be real I mean we've seen what they done with introduction battles in this series and they pretty much you know they 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 fuck up a cup of coffee so let's just leave it at that at least we got to see some form of a battle and it was at least somewhat okay so I'm all right with that and I love the comedy I love Goku's reactions to everything especially at the end I thought it was hilarious and you know I just I love this episode. I personally really enjoyed it. 
Um, is it like an A plus? Not really, but I give it like a good B. <laughs> that's that's like the best I can do. And that and and for an episode that I was very scared for because I knew Toy Animation could fuck it up, they did a pretty good job. Same thing about the animation artwork. It wasn't an A plus. It was definitely not amazing. But I didn't I expect it to be amazing because once again, this is toy animation we're talking about. So, like. At least it was done to the point of where no one could just sit around and be like screaming at the computer just saying, this is bullshit, this sucks ass, you know, all that random bullshit. So at least it was somewhat doable, somewhat watchable, and I personally liked it. So at the end of the day, my final verdict for episode 28, the first episode, or at least the, the first episode that I like to consider of actually Dragon Ball Super, and of course, essentially... The first episode of the Universe 6 Saga, essentially, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. I think it was a really good, enjoyable episode, and I can't wait to see future episodes of this arc. And next episode seems very interesting as well, and I can't wait to see. I, I wonder, once again, I wonder how it's going to, you know, play off of the manga, seeing as how we're practically at the point where the manga is. So it's going to be very interesting where Super goes in... Um, with the anime, so there's some very interesting directions that Toy Animation's going into, and I can't wait to see it. And of course, I really hope that they pump out some good money, some heavy freaking bank, to start making some really good-looking episodes, because... You know, it was it was one thing to fuck up Battle of Gods and Resurrection F, because we had the movies, but now that we're in the actual original portion of Super, the original portion of this freaking anime... You know, the, the, basically the story that freaking Akira Toriyama gave you, sons of bitches. It's time to fucking put out some bank and make some good looking episodes. So hopefully they do that in the coming, you know, weeks and months, if you will. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. But as a first episode, I personally liked it. I thought it was really good. I enjoyed myself. It was entertaining and fun. But let me know what you personally thought. Did you enjoy this episode? Did you love it or hate it? Let me know in the comment section below. And of course, what are your personal thoughts on where the manga is and how the anime is going to play off the manga once it gets to that certain point of time? And of course, what are your personal thoughts on Champa as a character and the future of Dragon Ball Super? With that being said and done, comment below. Let me know what you personally think. And of course... If you haven't done so already, shameless plug time. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Add Josh12. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And it's been Josh12.